Hello, my name is Ashlyn and I love everything about makeup. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok. And like always, if you like my videos, do like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so today I am doing a makeup review on new products and if you want to know how or not how but well i guess both okay so <laughs> if you want to know what i put on my face today i will put it in the description and if you want to know how i did it i put up a short on here so let's get into it the first palette that i have is the Aloha Palette, can't talk, Aloha Palette by Clarity Cosmetics. And it is supposed to launch on 616 and it is $56. It is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette. So it's split up half and half between mattes and foiled eyeshadows. So. The foiled eyeshadows in this palette are so good. They are beautiful. So the color story of this whole palette looks really good and they look like they work really well together. It was really like thought out and I appreciate that. Um, there's a good a variety of really darks and really pigmented colors, which I love. You know, I love a good contrasty eyeshadow palette. <laughs> the greens in here are really nice, but that is not what drew me in. <laughs> Contrary to belief, um, <laughs> I really enjoyed the maroon shades in this palette. So they were very much like the lipstick that I'm wearing today. Very rich and dark and moody kind of feel. Beautiful. It drew in my attention and I was like, ooh, those look stunning. Like so royal and regal. There are two mattes that I really loved and they're both like this. They're very dark red. And um, the one is a bit more purpley, but still giving like burgundy. I also really liked um, on the swatches, I really liked the, um, Oh, the muted, like, purpley gray kind of colors. There's two of them. There's a matte and there's a shimmer. And they're, like, right on top of each other in the swatches. Beautiful. It's, like, a really muted purpley gray. And it looks stunning. I would... I used to have a lipstick that looked like the matte. And it was my favorite lipstick. It's just, like, that grungy, purpley gothic -y, like but on the lighter side not very dark perfect like beautiful and they look so good next to those burgundy mattes but like all of the shimmers the foily shimmers i love they're so shocking and so beautiful and you, you know they're gonna be like very textured on the eye and like pop and that's what i love <laughs> But it's just like an overall really well done uh, eyeshadow palette and I really enjoy it. Don't know if I would spend that much on it, but uh, it's very pretty to look at. <laughs> the next palette that I have, it's not a new one actually, it's a restock of it. And it's also the Clarity Cosmetics and it's the Python palette. So I never saw this palette before, I probably missed it when it came out, but it's so pretty and I wanted to talk about it because it's new to me. <laughs> so it's a 12 shade palette. It's also half and half mattes and shimmers. And this one is $49. So it's a bit cheaper than the, the new one. And it's a very like smoky, glam, um, dark, like browns and golds kind of palette. Very, very pretty. The shimmers, like there are some shimmers in it that are very like light shimmery, but there's two in there that caught my eye and I was like, oh, those are beautiful. <laughs> they're very foily and they're very shocking. They are um, Strike and 
death squeeze strike is a very like purpley silver light colored shimmer but very foily and the death squeeze is more on like the darker bronze side but also very shocking and beautiful and like metallic-y and shiny <laughs> they are absolutely stunning and they would work so well together and matching with like those really rich dark like chocolatey browns ooh, you could create such good looks with it i also really liked the um serpent the venom and the poison so the serpent is a matte and it's a very rich like chocolate brown kind of uh a little bit on the orangey side but very pretty and the venom is a matte like grungy yellow kind of like what i put underneath of my glitter um it's very like a grungy warm yellow very pretty and then the poison is a very like gold shimmer so like kind of like the look that I went for today, like those three colors with the brown would make such a pretty look like this. Oh, perfect, like super grungy, super warm. And I think the first one might be a bit more expensive because there's more of those like really foily um, eyeshadows. So it kind of makes sense for being that expensive. Um, because this one is like just two of them are like really foily and then the other ones are more like uh, muted shimmer so I think that is why. But the third palette that I have is the Angela Bright palette and it is by Sigma and it is $50 and it is 14 shades so it's a bit pricey. <laughs> but I think Sigma, that's pretty much like Sigma prices for eyeshadow. I only use their eyeshadow primer. I've never used their eyeshadow. I've heard great things. <laughs> I really like their eyeshadow primer, but I've never used the, like, their actual shadows. But um, like this one, like it's just okay. You know, like it's not really giving anything, you know. Um, pretty colors and like it is colorful but it's too muted for me like the colors need to be like i do like some muted colors but like the whole palette is muted and it needs something like it looks like there's something missing with it and i don't know it's just not for me pretty colors again like the blue and the red in there they're like right on top of each other very pretty but like it it's like missing <laughs> it's missing something and i think it is like it's not pigmented enough for me uh, and it also like it's not contrasty enough i think and also not pigmented enough for like the kind of makeup i go for so it's gonna be a pass for me <laughs> I think it would work really well for other people um, if they're doing more mellow dramatic muted uh, but they want a little bit of pop of color would work really well but I pff, love color <laughs> so and love contrast so it's a pass for me. The fourth thing that I have for you is not makeup, but a perfume. Cause I looked at it and I was like, ooh, that one looks really nice. It is the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it like many things. Um, Toka, Tocha. I'll put it up here so you can see it. <laughs> um, and it's the Oleo Sublime. And it is $54 and it is 100 milliliters. So, I mean, that one, it's a luxury kind of perfume, so it's a bit pricey, but uh, they really do have really nice perfumes. There is one that I like, and I forget the name of it, but it has like a green label. I'll put the picture up here if I can find it, <laughs> but um, 
it's such a good scent and I love it. So I really do like this brand. They have really nice um, perfumes. So this one though, the key notes are bergamot, sandalwood, and pink peppercorn, which is mildly intriguing. So I always really love bergamot and sandalwood separately and together. Oh, they work so well together. Um, bergamot is very citrusy. It's a flower, I do believe, or no, I think it is a fruit. I went over this before <laughs> in a different video, I just forget. But um, it's very citrusy and it smells like lemons. Um, I love the smell of lemons, so it's a win for me. And sandalwood is very earthy but floral and works really well with citrus. So really excited to see those two together. Um, the peppercorn though is very intriguing because if it's not like a lot of it in there, <laughs> because it can become too overpowering peppercorn, it's a very strong spice. So, um, if it's balanced between those other ones, just to give like a little bit of spice, I think I would really enjoy it. You can go overboard though, and then it ruins it. <laughs> but um, I think it would work really well with these, those other ones because you're getting like the sweetness and the floral, but you're breaking it up with that spice. So it's like knocking it down a bit, the sweetness level and making it more like nighttime wear in my mind um, and like warm and it's just, ooh, I can like, oh, I can imagine <laughs> the smell of it and it's, it's giving. I always enjoy reading the slogans of perfumes too because they're so pretentious <laughs> and they make me laugh. So <laughs> this one is, Floating onto the skin like a whisper of silk instantly nourishes, giving skin a soft, luminous glow while surrounding the wearer with a light veil of scent. <laughs> I love how cringy it is. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this perfume would be a really nice summery nighttime scent like giving very warm weather, beachy, uh, nighttime on the sand, you know, beautiful. And the fifth thing I have is a palette again. I think the last two, yeah, last two are eyeshadow palettes. There's a lot of eyeshadow palettes coming out, like a lot. So I have a bunch of things to talk about, it's great. <laughs> Um, but this one is the World Full of Wonder palette, and it is by Pluis, I think, Makeup Academy. So it hasn't come out yet, so there's no price yet, but I was looking at the pictures and I have some thoughts. So it's a very pretty palette, and it's very colorful, very um, contrasty. The swatches are beautiful, but there's a but. <laughs> it is way too big. <laughs> like there's way too many colors. They could have cut that into like a quarter of what they give. <laughs> like you really don't need that many eyeshadows because a lot of them, it kind of falls into the trap of when you have just like, the same kind of colors like it's purple blue and pink and like kind of reddish pink so w when you do colors on the same spectrum if you have a lot of them they start turning monochromatic in not a good way <laughs> so a lot of them look the same so they kind of needed to cut the ones that looked the same because they're just like slightly different. And you can tell on the swatches too that a lot of them are the same kind of color. Very beautiful and very pigmented and very contrasty, but 
too many. <laughs> like you really don't need that many eyeshadow uh, of the same eyeshadow. Unless you're like, don't have any purple at all. Me, I have a lot of eyeshadows. I do not need <laughs> one this big, really. I can come up with uh, all of those colors probably out of the other palettes that I have. So what I tend to look for in a palette is minimal, but a well-rounded variety, you know? Like there are colors that I would really enjoy and really like, but it's just way too big of a palette. Like way too big. <laughs> The shimmers are okay. Like they're very pretty colors, but they are more like natural kind of shimmers, which not really my style. I like very shocking shimmers. So that's kind of like meh. But the mattes are very rich and very pigmented and they are just stunning, but there's way too many of them. <laughs> like way too many. I cannot say that enough. <laughs> so it kind of makes it like, mm, I don't really want it now. Like the colors are beautiful and I would love it and use it a lot, but like, it's too big. I don't, I don't need that, <laughs> you know? So the last thing that I have is the Pond Lily palette by Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. So they are on Etsy. I think it is a very small brand. And the palette is 12 shades and it is $37.50. So this palette, when you look at the palette itself, it doesn't look like much, but the swatches that they did were pretty nice. Like, especially the shimmers, again, foily shimmers, they get me. <laughs> they look really nice. The mattes, I don't know what happened. There's like, I'll put it up here, but there's a picture where like, there's an arm on top and an arm on bottom and they're the same colors, they just swatched them twice. The arm that's on top, the mattes look patchy. And the ones on the bottom look fine. So I was thinking maybe, it was just like user error, you know, like maybe they just didn't do the swatches that great. Um, or they, they photoshopped the bottom arm. I have no idea, <laughs> but um, it kind of makes me wary about the palette, you know, like what if the mattes aren't good? But the shimmers though are very beautiful. There is a orangey copper one that drew my eye directly to it and it looks beautiful. It's so foily. And there is a olive green shimmer that's like more on the darker warm like green side. Very pretty. And there's also like a blue silver and a light pink. Beautiful. Like safe to say I love all the shimmers. The mattes are questionable for me. And like also if I'm questioning the quality of those mattes and it being almost $40, I'm kind of like iffy, you know, like mm, gonna have to research that <laughs> a bit more and try to find other people that have used there it. There is one like purpley burgundy matte where like the swatch on the bottom looks beautiful. Um, such a pretty plum burgundy kind of color, beautiful. And it would work so well with that like shimmery green to like complement each other, you know, beautiful. But again, like advertising is very important, <laughs> you know, like when you have, um, conflicting pictures kind of makes the the customer be like I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but it is a very pretty palette and it has a really good colors and like a really good story really pretty so like it's very conflicting you know <laughs> so yeah 
that's all that I have for you today. But yeah, I really enjoyed some of these things. Um, like the Python palette was really good. The Aloha palette was really good. And that perfume, oh, perfume, man. I'm gonna have to go smell that perfume <laughs> if I can find it. It's probably like at Sephora or something, but ooh, I'm excited about it. So yeah, if you like my videos, do like and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.